Hello there, Daily Dose of Drupal faithful. Today we have another episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal brought to you by CodeKarate.com. Uh, today is episode 4 and we are again going to look at the features module, but this time we are going to do a couple things. First we're going to see how the diff module can fit into the mix, and we're also going to talk about how this might work if you have a development and a live site. So as you can see, we left, or we're right where we left off last time with the module, the views module, or excuse me, the features module we created working. And we're going to create, or excuse me, change the view again. And in this case, we are going to go ahead and just pick one here. We will do a, we'll go ahead and do a line chart this time. So we're going to apply that save it and then we're gonna take a look As you can see we now have a line chart which is different than the test one site again it is still just the regular old pie chart that we created the first time in this case let's imagine that the test two site is our development site and we're gonna be pushing out our features module onto the test site which is over here and that will be our live site. So we are going to first take a look at our feature and see that on our test 2 development site it is overridden. So we're going to download the diff module. So I'm using Drush to download the diff module onto the test 2 site. I'm also going to enable the diff module using Drush so all that did was download the diff module and enable it. Now if I refresh this page, you can still see it's overridden. I can go into that and there's actually the ability to review the overrides. So it actually compares the differences between what is the default, which is the module code, and what is in the database. So you can see it's now going to be a line chart because that's what we set it as and we could do two things at this point we could go ahead and recreate it the way we discussed last time which would recreate this is going to then download the .tar file which we could then drop in over top of the existing code and get it to update but as you can see that seems a little complicated all we want to do here is we want to update the code that's already here to represent what we have in our database and Drush allows us to do that very easily so we're going to go ahead and do Drush features update in this the shortened version is Drush FU monthly earning and we will run that and say the module already exists do you really want to continue because this is actually going to update the code so now that the code is updated we can go back here and refresh and you can see it's now at the default status so now that we have the updated module on the development site what we're going to do is we're going to actually drop this into the test.codekarate.com site which is going to act as our production site or live site in this example so I'm going to hop over to the test2 modules directory and I'm going to just copy this monthly earning module I'm going to paste it over in the modules directory on the test.codekarate.com site so after we dropped that in I am going to go into the modules page and I could enable it from here the monthly earning I can also enable it from the features page just show this as an example and we'll go ahead and save that and this is on our what we'll consider to be our live site for this example and it's taking a little bit of time here but it should be reloading here pretty shortly and even though we have the content type and the view already on this site 
uh, it should it'll still be okay it's going to just install the features module that we created and it will then will then be able to revert this back to what is in the code so you can see it is overridden it's saying that the view is overridden because we made uh, we made a change in the module on the test 2 site which is the development site what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and revert this anytime you make a deployment from a development site to a live site you generally are going to have to revert your features module so we'll revert this and we are going to go to that monthly earnings report view and we will see there's now a line graph with our two data points on it. Uh, one thing, as, as I mentioned before, it, you're always going to need to revert that your features module when it gets to the live environment and you can also do this through Drush so if there was a change you can go ahead and do Drush FR for Drush Features Revert whatever your features module name is in this case monthly underscore earning you are also going to uh, want to keep in mind that the reason you do this the reason you have uh, the features modules to deploy between different environments is so that you don't actually have to touch the view or the content type in your live environment because you're just relying on the features module to do the work if you need to make a change we would come into the development site make the change and w the reason we're just changing the the type of graph is because it's an easy change to show how it works but you can make changes to the content type or any anything else that you exported with the feature we go into the features module we can confirm it's overridden we go ahead and we do a features update this is just to show how deploying it multiple times would work we are going to copy this over and in most cases um, keep in mind that you're going to be using not just a, a copy and paste like I'm doing right here you're going to be using most likely a version control system like git bzr svn or or some other type of version control system to actually move this between different environments so now that we updated we're going to go to our features module on the live site and you'll see it's overridden so I'm going to go ahead and go into the test.codekarate.com site and show you that you can do a drush features revert monthly earning and this is going to show that it's going to revert the view after you revert it go back refresh you'll see that it should have been reverted but something apparently didn't get reverted right Let's try that one more time once interesting well it's not it's not saying that it actually reverted it but let's go ahead and check let's try reverting it this way just to see if this will work okay so apparently there's an issue so we're gonna do a little troubleshooting I'm gonna go ahead and draw Drush download the diff module and enable it again to see what is causing this to not work correctly. Oh, and there, as soon as I went to actually see the difference, it seems to have corrected itself. Uh, one of the things you'll notice is every once in a while with the features module, 
uh, s sometimes your content types or views will get into like a rebuilding status and I, I don't know if that's exactly what we saw here but uh, sometimes it just takes a few seconds to let it refresh so I'm guessing that was the case it reverted but it did not actually show as a reverted status you can see now it's the bar graph as it should be if I go back into the features module it'll show that it's in the default status so that's it for today we're not gonna worry about that little issue I think it seems to resolve itself and next time we will cover something besides the features module so tune in tomorrow and we will go over something different thanks for watching the daily dose of Drupal until next time